Up next on the chopping block, I have one of everybody's favorites. This is a 2015 Challenger Hellcat. Uh, it is special ordered car. It has 731 original miles on it. It's in brand spanking new condition. Uh, it does have the nice brass monkey wheels, the Laguna leather package on the interior, and a six-speed manual trans. Now you guys know the drill. If you've been enjoying our videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way you don't miss out on all our new arrivals as they come in. Uh, if you wanna be the first to see it, click the bell icon. That way you get notified every single time a video gets posted. And if you enjoy the video, give that like button a smash. Now to view our full inventory, you can visit volocars.com. There you can study all the specs on every single vehicle, the write-up descriptions, the full photo shoots. It's all on the site. Visit volocars.com. We got a couple hundred, both modern muscle and classic cars, and they're all for sale. Take a look at this paint, guys. This is finished in what they call pitch black clear coat, and this thing is slick. We acquired it from the original owner. He kept it in very excellent condition. Uh, he optioned it with the bronze brass monkey wheels. They are a 20 inch on the front and the rear. They're wrapped in a nice Pirelli P0 tire. Uh, there's a little curb rash on the front passenger one and the rear passenger. Must have nicked a curb going through a drive through or something, but very minor. Other than that, this thing is absolutely beautiful. We have that amazing sounding dual stainless steel Hellcat exhaust with the black chrome uh, oval tips on it. Now the taillights look really sharp when they are flashing or blinking. Uh, you also have rear parking sensors and a backup camera on it. Uh, so that's nice to have that way when you're back in this big boat up, you're not gonna hit anything on accident. Uh, this was optioned with no sunroof on it, uh, so it has a taller uh, headrest area in there. So if you are a taller person, you're gonna fit a little bit better in the non-sunroofed option car. Of course, you have your classic Hellcat badging on both front fenders. The front lip is in very nice shape. There's two little scuffs right here and here on the edge, just from maybe scraping it ever so slightly. Uh, I do have the original yellow bumper guards that are lip guards that are in the trunk that go with it, uh, as well as a bunch of documents. Look at how aggressive and menacing this thing is. I love the LED halo lights, and then you have that cold air intake that's open on the driver headlight. Then of course you have your ventilation and airflow uh, through the Ram style hood on here. Uh, with all this power, it's gonna generate heat with such a big blower on it. So in order to uh, ventilate that out of the hood, that is necessary, but it also adds to the styling of it. Underneath the car, guys, it's super, super clean. Again, 731 original miles. Uh, you have the active dampening Bilstein suspension or the Hellcat suspension, and you can change it all on the touchscreen area there, your, uh, your performance modes, so how the car handles and rides and the shift points, stuff like that. Uh, you have your dual stainless steel exhaust that still looks like new independent rear suspension with electronic limited slip, so you can turn the traction control completely off. And with this being a six-speed manual, you could have a lot of fun in this thing. But let's take a look inside because we got more to show you. Now in the interior, guys, we are continuing that black theme. Uh, we have the black leather or Laguna leather seats. They are the upgraded $1,800 package from the factory. They are both heated and cooled, uh, so that's really nice to have, especially cooling seats in the summertime. I don't think there's any nicer feature than cooling seats. Uh, the steering wheel is also leather wrapped and heated, and it has the flat brim style down on the bottom. Uh, this thing's very comfortable to hang on to, uh, but with the six speed manual shifter in the center, you're more than likely gonna have one hand resting here, and then one on the top of the steering wheel. Now this does have the Harman Kardon 18 speaker sound system in here. So this thing absolutely bumps. There's a subwoofer in the back and 17 other speakers that are all throughout the cabin. If I had to point them out, it would take me all day because I don't know where they all are. But they are paired up to this uh, Uconnect GPS navigation touchscreen infotainment center. You do have Bluetooth audio and voice control on it. Uh, so you're 
essentially hands-free, guys. You can just talk to it and it'll pull up uh, your apps or the your music or your telephone calls. So that's very convenient to have. Uh, down in the center here is your dual climate control uh, and then your SRT mode and your launch mode, uh, your traction control button, stuff like that and your volume knobs. Uh, so that also shows up on the screen. So you can use these buttons down here, but you can actually uh, push the buttons on the touch screen as well. And that's how you turn on your heated and cooled seats also. In the center here, we have that six speed manual shifter. It also has that nice leather wrapped shift knob on it. Uh, and all the, uh, the center console here is just that nice soft premium Laguna leather. Absolutely love it. It's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, we have some nice WeatherTech floor mats that fit nicely in here. So that way you keep the carpet looking brand spanking new. Uh, you do have cup holders on either side of the doors. So you still have room for drinks. I probably wouldn't put them here with your arm and uh, shifting the manual. It's just kind of out of place there. And last but not least, Take a look at the red option seat belts. So those are in the front and the rear. So it's not all black in here, guys. It does have some contrast. Now with the press of the button, you can pop the trunk from the key fob. Speaking of keys, you do get two red keys and one black key. And if you don't know what that does, it's in the write-up description, uh, but it changes the tune on the car. So the red keys unlock the whole 707 horsepower and the black one, gives you just enough horsepower to uh, cruise us along as a daily driver. But who wants to do that really? In the back here, guys, there's plenty of room. It's fully carpeted. We have the regular uh, SRT stitched floor mats. So those are brand spanking new. They've never been installed in the cab. Uh, so they're sitting in the back here. I have a folder filled with all the original dealer brochures and documents and the build list on it uh, and little snippets that were hanging in the car. I do have the original window sticker as well. Uh, we have the front license plate bracket and those yellow lip guards. And then underneath there is no spare, uh, but it does have the subwoofer and a tire inflator kit as well as your battery. So if you ever have to jump the car, you need to access the trunk and the battery is right underneath in the well. Uh, the rear seats do fold down. They are 60-40 split. So this trunk is fairly large, but if you need to uh, store something even longer, possibly like your skis, I don't know if you're going to take a Hellcat when you go skiing, but if you have the kahunas to do that, you absolutely can. Now take a look under this hood. We are looking at a very impressive 6.2 liter Hemi supercharged engine. You got a massive silver SRT blower on top the Hemi orange valve covers and engine block that's painted like it's tribute to the old Challengers. Uh, this thing is immaculate, guys. It looks just like it did off the showroom floor. All the reservoirs are clean. All the fluids are still the original color. They're not dirty. 731 miles on it, and it shows like it has seven. Uh, this thing is one of my favorite engine bays to look at throughout the whole showroom. There's a reason they call these a Hellcat. 707 horsepower from the factory, rear wheel drive with the six speed manual transmission. There's really nothing more fun than that. Now, as a few days ago, Dodge finally announced their last call uh, for their final edition of the Hellcat, which was the Demon 170. And man, good luck getting an allocation for one of those. I believe they're only building about 50 of them. So that is going to be quite the rare car. Uh, but what I'm getting at guys is, this is the last year for the Hellcat. They are going electric. They are no longer gonna be making the Hemis or the supercharged engines or the six speed manual shifters. So why not pick yourself up a slightly like new Hellcat Again, 700 miles, 731 miles on it in excellent condition, black on black. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. 
If you are interested in purchasing it, you can visit bolocars.com. There, if you click the buy it now button, it'll secure a refundable deposit on this car. It'll shoot us an email with your contact information. We will be contacting you back. We can help set up financing and shipping. It's super easy. We can get it delivered right to your driveway uh, just with the click of a button. Volocars.com, check it out. Or you can call us, ask for me, Caleb. I'd be more than happy to go over the car some more with you. We can also go over financing and shipping options that way as well. So thanks for checking it out.